Hi, this is John Dumke with Long Beach Real Estate, and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the confusion we're seeing in the economic markets and how that relates to Long Beach Real Estate. On the economic front, we have things like the Federal Reserve, whose top two mandates is to maintain price stability, has now said that 2% inflation is price stability. Well, that's just nuts. In Europe, we have negative interest rates, negative like 2% interest rates, where if you gave them $10,000 a year later, they give you back $9,800. That's insane too. Then we have the Federal Reserve trying to create inflation, saying that that's good for our economy. Well, I don't know about you, but if next year my food or my fuel or my medical insurance was cheaper, I wouldn't be too bummed out. Now, how does this show up in real estate? Well, in Long Beach real estate, recently I listed a home in North Long Beach, and it's a three bedroom, one bath property. I knew that we might have a difficult time getting over $500,000 for that home because it only has one bath, so I thought I'd do some research. The first question I wanted to answer was how many homes would I be competing with with this three bedroom, one bath property? So I looked in Long Beach for single family homes in North Long Beach, which is one of the largest areas of Long Beach and usually has a significant supply of homes for sale. But when I pulled up the homes for sale under 500,000, there was only four homes for sale. I knew this was very, very good information because it meant that I wouldn't be competing with many homes and maybe I could push the price. So then I raised the price point to 520,000 and only two more homes showed up. This is kind of rare because usually as you see a market open up, you start to see the supply of homes dramatically increase. I was expecting to see 20 or 30 homes for sale. So at that point, I was really excited to present this information to the seller because I thought we would be able to push prices significantly and a $520,000 sale price would be no problem at all. Low inventory has typically predicted price increases. The last time we had such low inventory was in 2003, and we saw what happened there. Prices were going up 30% a year. It was nuts, but we have not seen that at this point. The next step was to look at prices and seeing if that low inventory was actually propelling prices higher. So I pulled up all of the sales for three bedroom or more homes in North Long Beach that are in pending sales. That should give me the most recent activity. And what I found was that out of 15 pending sales that had three bedroom or more, only one of them had one bath that was over 500,000. And that property had 1,500 square feet on a 7,000 square foot lot. My home that I've listed is only a three bedroom, one bath with a thousand square feet on about a 5,000 square foot lot. So it looks like getting over $500,000 based upon the comps is not possible. So now I've got two contradictory bits of data. I've got low inventory. In fact, citywide, we only have 192 homes on the market. That's even below the article that I wrote two months ago, stating that we had a 15 year low down to 228 homes. And with only six homes to choose from, I should be able to push prices. Yet, on the flip side of the coin, I've got pending sales that tell me prices aren't going up. Again, this is a contradiction. So what am I supposed to do with this contradictory data? I did tell the seller that we had very good news, that there was very low inventory, but I hadn't yet had proof that we could get over 500,000 for a home with his specifications. But what I do know is that my job as a listing agent is to get buyers into the home and shoot for the highest price possible. With the low inventory, it's not unlikely that we'll see prices ebb up over the course of this springtime. And as long as I get buyers into the home, then we'll know what the price point should be. The bottom line with prices is that buyers set prices. If a home is listed too low, it will get bid up. If it's listed too high, you won't get offers and you'll have to have price decreases. My job as a listing agent is to get buyers into the property that with only six homes to choose from in all of North Long Beach, that buyers will come to preview our home. It's cute, it's clean, it has new paint, new flooring, updated kitchen, updated bathrooms, and it's on a nice location. So it'll be interesting to see where the cookie crumbles. I will keep you posted. If you're a home seller, you might find it a little confusing. Is it a good time to sell? Is it a bad time to sell? Are prices going up? Are prices going down? What you need to do is you need to talk to somebody who's an expert on the marketplace, who tracks the data every day as I do. If you have any questions about your individual home, we offer free consultations. Just give me a buzz, John Dumke, 562-572-2296. And we'll be able to guide you in the right direction. Thank you very much.